Welcome to a world of stories and imagination. Let's embark on this journey together, the Wanderer's Express. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm golden hue across the platform, Amelia stood on the edge, heart pounding. She had done it. She had escaped. Her mundane life had become an unbearable weight, and now she was here, clutching a one-way ticket to adventure. The Wanderer's Express stood before her, a sleek silver serpent, ready to carry her across Europe. With a quick exhale, Amelia stepped onto the train, her pulse racing in time with the rhythmic clatter of wheels against rails. Inside, the carriages were a tapestry of faces, each a story waiting to be told. Amelia chose a compartment, a window seat, where she could watch the world rush by. Soon, she met Max, a retired opera singer with a twinkle in his eye. He regaled her with stories of grand performances in Vienna and secret trysts in Paris. They laughed and shared secrets like old friends, the train's motion a gentle lullaby. Hours passed, and Amelia's compartment filled with an eclectic mix of travelers. There was Vikram, an enigmatic artist with a sketchbook full of dreams. Across from him sat Isabella, a young woman with fiery hair and a violin case who claimed her music could heal wounded souls. As the night deepened, the train's rhythm grew more hypnotic. Amelia, surrounded by these strangers turned friends, felt a sense of belonging she hadn't known in years. But then an unexpected jolt shook the train. The lights flickered and a low rumble echoed through the carriages. Panic rippled through the passengers, but Isabella's calm voice cut through the chaos. Stay calm everyone. It's just a minor technical glitch. Nothing to worry about. Max exchanged a knowing look with Vikram, who nodded gravely. They rose, revealing a hidden panel in the compartment wall. Together, they worked in harmony, hands dancing over wires and switches. Minutes later, the train was back on track, its gentle rhythm restored. The passengers erupted in cheers, thanking their impromptu heroes. As gratitude flowed through the compartment, Amelia's gaze caught the flicker of a secret smile on Isabella's lips. There was more to her than met the eye. With a sly wink, Isabella invited Amelia to join her for a moonlit stroll through the train. They passed through carriages filled with intriguing characters, each one a chapter in this unfolding story. In the final carriage, they discovered a hidden lounge where a clandestine gathering of artists, musicians, and dreamers danced to an ethereal melody. Vikram, it seemed, was the conductor of this secret symphony. Amelia's heart swelled with gratitude for this serendipitous adventure. She had traded her mundane life for a ticket to a world of mystery and magic. As the first light of dawn painted the horizon, the train slowed, and Amelia knew their journey was coming to an end. They had arrived in a quaint village nestled in the Swiss Alps. With a mixture of reluctance and exhilaration, Amelia bid farewell to her newfound friends. They promised to meet again on the Wanderer's Express, where new adventures awaited. Stepping onto the platform, Amelia felt the crisp mountain air kiss her cheeks. She didn't know where she was going, but for the first time in a long while, that didn't matter. As the train pulled away, Disappearing into the horizon, Amelia looked ahead with a heart full of hope and a spirit untamed. The world was vast, and she was ready to explore it, one journey at a time. Amelia's journey continued, weaving through landscapes that changed like the pages of a novel. Fields of sunflowers in France, ancient castles perched on German hillsides, and Italian vineyards stretching towards the horizon. In a bustling station in Vienna, she encountered a mischievous feline named Mozart who seemed to have a fondness for train travel. The charming tabby quickly became her companion, curling up on her lap as they watched the Austrian countryside roll by. One evening, as the train wound through the Austrian Alps, a knock echoed through Amelia's compartment. It was Isabella, her eyes gleaming with mischief. Care for a moonlit adventure? She asked, her violin case slung over her shoulder. Without hesitation, Amelia joined her. They slipped through the narrow corridors, their laughter carrying through the train. 
they discovered hidden passages and secret rooms, each one a treasure trove of stories waiting to be unearthed. In a dimly lit chamber, they stumbled upon a group of card-playing aficionados, led by a mysterious gentleman named Sergei. He was a master of illusions, weaving stories with every shuffle and deal. Care to try your luck? He invited, his eyes twinkling with the promise of magic. Amelia hesitated for a moment, then took a seat at the table. The cards danced between her fingers, and for a brief moment, time seemed to stand still. As the final hand was revealed, she realized sometimes luck favored the brave. The night pressed on, and Amelia returned to her compartment, heart pounding with exhilaration. She found Max and Vikram deep in conversation, discussing the beauty of ephemeral moments captured on canvas. They invited her to sit with them, and together they shared stories of art, passion, and the indelible mark each left on the world. It was a conversation that transcended time, an ode to the boundless creativity that flowed through their veins. As the train approached the Italian coastline, Amelia gazed out at the Cerulean Sea, her heart swelling with gratitude for the magical encounters that had filled her journey. She had ventured far from the life she once knew, and in doing so, had discovered a world of wonder. In the fading light of day, the Wanderer's Express pulled into the enchanting city of Venice. Its canals and narrow alleyways beckoned like a siren's call. With a final farewell to Max, Vikram, and Isabella, Amelia stepped onto the platform, Mozart by her side. Venice held a promise of new beginnings, of winding streets and hidden corners yet to be explored. As she navigated the labyrinth of waterways and bridges, Amelia couldn't help but smile. The adventure was far from over, and every twist and turn held the potential for a new and extraordinary tale. Whispers in the rails. It was a crisp autumn morning when Emily and her eight-year-old son, Samuel, boarded the early morning train bound for the countryside. The train's rhythmic hum and the clickety-clack of the tracks beneath them promised a day of adventure and exploration. Emily settled into her seat by the window, a warm smile on her face as she watched the passing landscape. Samuel's eyes gleamed with excitement as he pressed his face against the glass, eager to take in every passing tree, every meandering stream. As the train wound through picturesque valleys and quaint villages, mother and son chatted animatedly, their laughter filling the carriage. They were a team, partners in their quest for new experiences. But as the train pulled into a bustling station, a sudden surge of people filled the aisles. Samuel's hand slipped from Emily's grasp, and in the blink of an eye, he vanished into the crowd. Panic gripped Emily's heart. She called out his name, her voice rising in desperation, but it was swallowed by the clamor of the station. Frantic, she pushed her way through the throng, scanning every face for a glimpse of her son's familiar features. She enlisted the help of station attendants, their eyes scanning the platform, their radios crackling with urgent updates. Time seemed to stretch, each second an eternity. The train's whistle pierced the air, announcing its impending departure. Emily's heart raced, a heavy weight settling in her chest. She had to find Samuel before it was too late. With newfound determination, she surged forward, following the direction the crowd had taken. She reached the edge of the platform just as the train began to pull away. Tears blurred her vision as she imagined her son alone, watching the world blur by through the window. But then, in the distance, she heard at the faintest of sobs, a child's cry for comfort. It echoed through the station, leading her like a beacon. Emily's heart soared. She was close. Rounding a corner, she found Samuel huddled against a pillar, tears streaming down his face. Relief flooded through her as she gathered him into her arms. Oh, my darling, you're safe, she murmured, her voice a soothing balm. Samuel clung to her, his small frame trembling with fear and relief. As they held each other, Emily whispered words of comfort, reassuring him that they were together once more. She gently wiped away his tears, her own cheeks wet with a mixture of joy and worry. They sat together on a bench, the station bustling around them, 
but in that moment, it was as if the world had stopped. Mother and son, united by an unbreakable bond. As the minutes passed, Samuel's sobs gave way to shaky breaths. He looked up at Emily, his eyes wide with gratitude and trust. I'm sorry, Mama, he whispered. Emily brushed a strand of hair from his forehead, her heart overflowing with love. It's all right, my love. We're together now, and that's all that matters. With Samuel safely in her arms, Emily knew they had a choice to make. The train had already departed, leaving them in the heart of an unfamiliar city. They could wait for the next one, or they could turn this unexpected detour into an adventure of its own. She looked down at Samuel, determination in her eyes. How about we explore this city, just you and me? Who knows what wonders we might discover? A tentative smile tugged at Samuel's lips, his trust in his mother unshaken. Okay, Mama, let's be adventurers. Hand in hand, they set off into the city, their steps light with the promise of new experiences. They wound through cobblestone streets, discovered hidden parks, and shared a picnic in a sun-dappled square. As the day unfolded, Emily and Samuel forged memories that would forever bind them together. They laughed, they explored, and they marveled at the unexpected beauty of their detour. When the sun began to set, casting the city in a warm golden glow, Emily and Samuel found themselves back at the train station. The platform was now quiet, the evening calm settling over the tracks. The approaching train's headlights pierced the twilight, illuminating the tracks with a gentle glow. Emily looked down at Samuel, her heart full. It's time to go home, my love, she said, her voice tender. Samuel nodded, his eyes shining with a mixture of exhaustion and contentment. They boarded the train, finding their seats with a sense of quiet satisfaction. As the train pulled away from the station, Emily looked out at the city, grateful for the unexpected turn their journey had taken. Sometimes, it's in the detours that we find the most beautiful moments, she thought. And as she held Samuel close, she knew that this adventure, this unbreakable bond between mother and son, would be a story they would cherish for a lifetime. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a comment and hit that subscribe button for more enchanting content. Your support means the world to us. Until next time, happy storytelling.